more importantly, I think that it is it is important to acknowledge that the people that have the majority of the kids are the ones that shouldn't be having kids. And then it becomes a burden on the people that actually have resources, which we then start to say, take more resources from people that have, and then we become a socialist society. <gasps> we're in a grocery store and seeing a, a lady with a bonnet on her head with eight kids walking behind her. You think that she's being responsible? You think that she's really taking into consideration what she's supposed to do responsibly? You think that she's not on Section 8 housing? You don't think that we paying for her to house her kids? Who's probably gonna grow up and steal my wheels off my car? <gasps> Yeah, I, I mean, it's the reality. I'm, I'm not here. I'm not here to tell people what, what, what they want to hear. What, I'm here what, to tell the truth. How do we get to the wheels on you? From because the, <laughs> because the, the people that are having kids are some of the worst in society. And when you put them in an environment and they have to be raised without the resources in order for them to be able to thrive, often at times they become the ones that we have to take care of. Whether it be the prisons that we build for them or the social services that we have to create for them. And they do not become more educated and do things differently. They breed more. That's what happens. Whoa! Everything I'm about to say, you already know it's true. You are a slave. You are a slave to money, to social economics, to status, to politics, to ideology. You have sold your soul to have a place in a world order that you should naturally oppose. All right, my brothers and sisters. I hope y'all were as sickened by that introduction clip as I was when I heard it. This dude, Anton Daniels, literally went on national TV in front of all of those white folks and advocated on behalf of eugenics for black people based on economics. Which, by the way, is the same excuse, the same bullcrap reasons that white folks have always gave as to why we don't deserve life. But what people like Anton fail to understand is that economics is rigged and that in nature, there are no cost to live. In nature, there is no cost of rent in nature there is no cost of food you cannot judge a human being by money because money is not natural and the saddest thing of it all is that y'all made this dude a low-end millionaire he got his money from y'all y'all buying into his bullcrap programs of, of, of wealth building that's not going to work he didn't get money by doing none of that stuff. He got money by talking to y'all. Y'all donated to him. Y'all made this dude a low-end millionaire, and now he's turning around saying that you don't deserve to even reproduce because you don't have the money. I want y'all to understand what I'm trying to say here. This is sickening, bro. You know what I'm saying? This is sickening. Now, in fairness, that, 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 that the words I have on the thumbnail, he did not say that. It's not a quote from Anton. That is the gist of what he said. But those words next to the other king of coons, Reverend Jesse Lee Peterson, that's his words. That we need more white babies because they are the most creative. They are the only creative people. I mean, this is utter bull, bro. Man, I'm trying not to curse, man, but I want to go in so bad on this one, bro. Man, I want to go in so bad. This this is madness to a whole nother level. Y'all, first of all, let me say this here. When, when you have Fox News, I found this clip on Fox. When Fox News is backing you, or Fox Network, Fox Network, you're doing something wrong. You're just as wrong if they backing you as if MSNBC was backing you. Except I think the Fox side is worse because all they care about is the destruction of black people. Y'all don't get it. I've been telling you that these red pill dudes are conservative. You hear all the talking points out of Anton's mouth. 
socialism, resources. He don't even know what the damn resource is, man. Money is not a resource. The earth is the only real resource, man. That's why they call property real estate. Because land is the only real. That's your resource. And since the way our system is rigged, you really never really own your land. You always got to pay property taxes or something on it. You can have that stuff paid for for 30 years and they'll, they'll still take it from you if you don't pay property taxes on it. Because of people like him that, that, that have this elitist mindset, and he's a low-end millionaire. This dude's life can change tomorrow. Y'all stop supporting him. He's going back to, to welfare, bro. He didn't have that money when he first started having children. He didn't have none of this stuff. He built it over time off of y'all. Now he sits here with a crown on his head like he's the king because he's, he, he's willing to say the kinds of things about black people that he claims is just being honest. You're not being honest. You are just willing to demean us in front of white folks. I would have never done that. I would have, first of all, they would never invite me on those shows because I'm not going to talk like that about my own people. Eight, a chick with a bonnet on her head with eight kids. I've never seen a chick with a bonnet on her head with eight kids walking through the grocery store. I've never seen it. See, they go to these, the, the most extreme of situations to make a point. And do you see how shocked those white folks were in there? I mean, it's embarrassing, bro. But this y'all boy, I'm the coon though. I'm the coon. I'm the sellout. Because my wife is from another country. But this is y'all pro-black brother here, preaching conservatism in the name of red pill and men's this and men's that. Taking all of the uh, all, all the teachings of supreme wisdom. I heard him talk about one time how women are just incubators, you know, that 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 babies actually come from men. You know where that come from? That come from the teachings that I studied under. That's not Christian teachings. That's not, you're not going to learn that in school. You're not going to learn that in biology. That's the teachings of supreme wisdom. So these kinds of dudes are familiar with those teachings and they take them and they bastardize them and they turn them into something that is not. And I blame Farrakhan for that because Farrakhan was the one who went around when Trump was running for office against Hillary. He was the one who went on shows like, 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 uh, um, Alex Jones. An extremely racist demographic. His whole his whole viewership is a bunch of sellout coons and racists. And Farrakhan took his ass on that show and basically dumped all over Hillary, which I don't really have a problem with, but bigged up Trump at the same time. So much so that the conservative stations were actually replaying clips of Farrakhan talking. Like I just said, when Fox is backing you, you are doing something wrong. When conservative media is backing you, you are doing something wrong. Tony Sotomayor was on conservative media before he disappeared. I don't know where, I don't know if he's still out there or not. I don't see. I don't follow these people. Kristen and Karazin got on, got, got herself on TV. Cynthia G got herself on TV. And you know what all of them have in common? They hate black people. See, y'all think Cynthia G just has an issue with black men. Cynthia G hates black people. That's a chick that wish she was white. So she lashes out at biracial. She lashes out at black men that date interracially. She lashes out. See, she takes it out on black men, but she really hates black people. Same thing with Tony Sotomayor. He hates black people. Crystal and Karazin hate black people. And now you got Anton Daniels. He hate black people. But y'all are his cash flow. Y'all are the dummies that support him while he go advocate on behalf of eugenics for black people and Hispanic people and poor people who suffer at the who suffer the most at the hands of a rigged economic system. That's why I'm talking Negronomics. The economics of black on black hatred. Why do you think Jesse Lee Peterson is still up the way he is? Because he hates black people. Why do you think uh, uh, Thomas Sowell is where he is? Because he hates black people. Uh, 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 
Jason Whitlock hate black people. Bro, I can go on and on and on. There is money in self-hatred. And unfortunately, y'all the ones who donate to these people. The more we infight, the bigger the channel get. The more hateful and, 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 and despicable a black channel is in regards to black people, the more y'all super chat it, the more y'all donate to it. I can't get a penny out you Negroes though. Not that I'm here for donations, but it's just a thought that count. I could use some things and I am trying to do some things that I'm gonna be the crash dummy on. Like I said, if the stuff work, I'm gonna give this stuff to y'all for free, but y'all need to help me. Cause if y'all don't help me and it work, I'm selling it. I'm selling it. But the truth of the matter is y'all not gonna really want what I want because I'm different from these people. I would never demean my people like that on national TV, bruh. As if, first of all, let's go back to welfare and the social system. Do you know that the biggest burden on, 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 on the government assistance program are white folks? They make up something like 75%, 80% of all recipients of government assistance. It's not us, but Anton talking about us. It's not us. The prison system is majority white. The only reason why we got a, a, a close number of blacks and stuff in prison is because we are targeted more by the authorities. But if they targeted white folks like they target us, they will be almost 90% of the prison population because they're always doing something they don't have no business. They're always committing crimes. They're just not targeted as much. But Anton ain't going to tell you that. He going to have you believing it's all us. You see, everything he said sound good, but it was all just, it's all just repeated lies. He's regurgitating the same old baseless, disrespectful, demeaning, racist lies about us that white folks say about us. And he's able to talk like this because of y'all support. And y'all still supporting this nigga. He said that, man, three, this was three, four months ago. I just found it. Y'all still supporting this dude. Y'all ain't gonna stop because y'all got problems. Y'all suffer from self-hatred and y'all come at me like I'm the problem. All y'all got something to say about my damn wife and this dude here sit there and say something like that and y'all think I'm the problem. I understand that we are victims of economics. That, that I mean, it sound good to blame us for our situation, but the truth is you can't get out this situation. I just listened to Michi X, a couple of her videos, going in on exposing Dr. Boyce Watkins, exposing Tariq Nashi, e exposing Dr. Umar Johnson, exposing Zaza Ali. All these people have scammed the black people. They come in your name, claiming to represent you and they scam you. But what's sad is that the nation does the same thing and y'all can't see that. The nation of Islam, them brothers do the same thing. The same thing. You talk about dudes that got no life experience. Reason Islam is not even 30. Which means he don't know none of that stuff he talk. His whole source of income is yo. Dr. Boyce Watkins. He never worked in the financial industry. He literally went to school and went to being a teacher. One brother described it like this. He said it like this. He said, imagine somebody that went to law school. They got the JD. They got the degree. But they didn't pass the bar. They never became an attorney. They never fought cases. They never represented nobody in court. Instead, they went straight to school and started teaching. He said, that's basically what, 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 boy, what um, Dr. Boyce Watkins did. Excuse me. I got something on my table. Hold on. Some kind of insect crawling on my table and I don't need shit biting me, you know what I'm saying? So anyway, he says basically what Dr. Boyce Watkins did, you know what I'm saying? He got his degree in economics and went straight to being a teacher. He has no real world experiences, none of that stuff he sell to y'all. That's why he's selling it to y'all. Because if it was real, he would just go do it and get rich. But he can't do it and get rich because it don't work that way. So he sells theory to y'all he sell hope and dreams to y'all same thing Anton does Anton y'all like him because he rags on them black women see y'all think that's cool that's why y'all blew Kevin Samuels up 
Although Kevin Samuels technically this he wasn't you couldn't put Kevin in the boat of, of a brother that hated black people. That wasn't him. But Kevin was a you know, he was sort of a coon dude, right? You know what I'm saying? Let's be honest, you know what I'm saying? He he was he was he he had some coonish ways, bro. But but he wasn't I I wouldn't say that he necessarily hated black people. I didn't get that vibe from him, but but you know, but he was typical uh uh, uh, want to be elitist type of brother, you know what I'm saying? Which usually lean conservative, that's them type. But Anton is willing to get up there and just rag on black women and dump on black women, you know? Not, and don't get me wrong. And this is the problem. I don't want to talk about black women, bro, you know what I'm saying? Because they low-hanging fruit. You dudes get mad at me, man, because y'all feel like I protect black women. I don't say enough. I do this, I do that. It's none of that stuff, bro. It's just that I recognize black women for being... The low hanging fruit that they are you know what i'm saying i mean if i really wanted to rag on them i could but i don't get nothing out of ragging on black women bro one second i'm trying i'm trying to find the uh the the, the other background Okay, here we go. I'm looking for my donation background. So anyway, I don't want to rag on black women, man, because that's too easy. The only people that can't see how messed up black women are are black women. And and, and the captain save them that, 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 that go to bad for them. But here's the problem, though. Black men messed up, too. See, y'all too busy trying to trying to go tit for tat on who's messed up the most. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, black women going to edge that out. You know, they... They, they all slightly messed they, they all messed up slightly more but black men y'all messed up too bro but if i try to talk to y'all about that y'all don't want to hear that so y'all go blow up dudes like anton and this is the this is how he view y'all this is how he he see himself as being better than you because y'all making him rich but like i say y'all won't send me a dime and and with all due respect you know i look I accept all the donations from all the people that say they want to remain anonymous. I'm not dumping on you. I, I, I listen. I, 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 I appreciate you sending it, and I, you know, and I respect your anonymity. But it's a shame that people got to remain anonymous with me because they don't really want nobody to know that they support me. I mean, it's sad, bro. It's sad. They got to be ashamed to support a brother like me. But they don't have no problem supporting Anton out openly while openly while he goes on Dr. Phil and say shit like that on national TV. This is appalling, man. This is appalling. And the fact that y'all are not sickened by what that dude said says a lot about y'all. So what he's right about black women. Black women are easy to be right about. They messed up. They have no argument, man, for their positions. But most of y'all brothers don't have no real argument for y'all either. See, the problem with the red pill, and this this, this, the, this the thing I'm trying to get you brothers to understand. Y'all argue from the position of the white man's philosophy. That is y'all authority. So, so when I ask y'all, when y'all talk about traditional marriage, which tradition and whose tradition are you talking about? Y'all don't want to talk to me about that. Because what you're doing is you're arguing from the white man's ideology. You are, and that becomes your authority. But what you don't understand is that his ideology is flawed. It is not an authority. It's flawed. There is that traditional stuff he talks is wrong. It's fine if somebody wants to live that way, man. But the world we live in today is differently. Do y'all not realize, man, all you needed was one income at one time? And not only did you pay your bills, but you saved money. A mortgage was 10 years. 10 brothers, 10 sisters. Imagine that. 10 years, you were done paying for your home. We don't live in that world today. Back then, the minimum wage was like $3. But the average job started you off for like 7 Seven today, today that's like twenty-five dollars an hour, something like that. Look it up; it's out there. I'm sure I'm off a little bit, but I ain't off by much. What they were being paid back in the day when I was coming up, 
That's like having to make $25 an hour right now. They didn't need a lot back then. You didn't need two incomes back then. The world was different. It had nothing to do with tradition. It was just the way our society was. It was the way things was. It was the way the cost of items was. Got nothing to do with traditional values and all that stuff, bro. Y'all are y'all y'all are living in the past in your mind, and y'all think that that's an authority because y'all say it a certain way, and y'all make dudes like Anton rich because he's willing to hold women's feet to the black women's feet to the fire based on a flawed, outdated, archaic ideology based on white supremacy because that's really what it was. That's really what it was. Y'all should be ashamed of yourselves to support people like this, bro. And y'all got the nerve to challenge me. And I ain't finished with the rest of them. I ain't finished with these Negronomics, man. You know what I'm saying? Because this is something that's very important because y'all don't understand that there is social value in hating us. There is real social value in hating us. I'm not talking, I'm not talking fake social value. I'm talking real social value. There is real economic value in hating black people if you are a black person. If you can catch the eye of those people, it'll benefit you. If you can hate on your own strong enough and loud enough, they're going to hear you. They're going to hear you. But see, they'll never mess with a brother like me because I'm just not going to do that. I'm not going to ever go in a public space like that, man, in front of a bunch of white folks and dump all over my people like that. I'm going to be the one, the second somebody like him, see, if I'd have been that audience, he'd have said, I'd have been like, hold on, but you act like this only apply to black people. See, because that's what he's saying. And then he going to say, well, I never mentioned black, but no, you did because you gave the example of the chick with the bonnet on her head with eight children. You're talking about stealing your wheels. So you're talking about black people. But, but this thing about poor people having kids don't just apply to black people. And then that, and then Jesse Lee said, we need more white babies because they are the only creative people. And they ain't invent nothing. Creative how coon, Jesse Lee. The fact that Anton was Anton was matched with Jesse Lee tells you what kind of person he is. The fact that 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 Coach Greg Adams is was taking pictures all buddied up and paled up with Jesse Lee tell you what kind of dude he is. The fact that 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 Coach Greg Adams going around right now being invited to speak in front of audiences of white men shows you what kind of mind he is. Them white boys wouldn't call me to talk to him. They wouldn't call me to talk to him about nothing. And I could tell him way more about women than, than, than somebody like Coach Greg Adams can because Coach ain't got no real world experience in women. That dude's probably getting the most pussy he's ever gotten right now in his life at this stage because he's got a little famous, a, a little, a little, you know, relative fame. You know what I'm saying? He's probably doing the best he's ever done right now. Whereas me, I've always had women. But I was broke, up, down, sideways. It didn't matter, bro. I always had women. I got real world experience. I could talk more about that than, than, than Coach Greg Adams can. But y'all don't want to hear me talk about it. Because I'm not going to sit here and just rag on women like that. There's some of the things that Anton say, bro. I could say that, man. You know what I'm saying? Because he get it from men like me. And then he falls back on the fact that he's married. I'm going to come back to that point I was about to make. No, I'm going to make that point now. He get it from men like me. See, because men like me have been saying certain things about our sisters for a long time, but not, not out of hate. In fact, I've already got video. I got evidence. If you go through my videos, the receipts are already there. I've already said that my honest opinion is that brothers need to leave sisters alone and go elsewhere. I've said it dozens of times throughout my throughout this short period I've been doing videos. And all I do is get hate from y'all. Y'all get mad at me. But y'all love Anton for saying it out of anger. So I don't say it out of anger for my sisters because I advise them to do the same. Go a separate way. It makes no sense to be sitting here fighting with each other. But the truth of the matter is, y'all feel like y'all have a stake, a claim on black women, just like black women feel like they have a claim on black men. Y'all don't want to go nowhere else because y'all see each other as property. 
No, because I have a right to black women. Black women. No, I have a right to black men. So y'all sit here and y'all clash with each other though y'all can't get along. The reason why I ended up with the woman I ended up and not a sister is because I recognized a long time ago I just don't click with sisters. I'm cool with a lot of sisters. I got a lot of black female friends. They're going to start coming on the show soon. I have a lot of them. Cool, I'm jammed with a lot of them. But as far as dealing with them a certain way, I just wouldn't do it. Because their core, their, 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 their core fundamental uh, uh, philosophy on life is something I don't want to have anything to do with. They, they, just, they are fundamentally different from me when it comes to the way they view life. And I, would, I don't want to have anything to do with it on a personal level. But I don't hate them. I'm still here for them. I love them. I'll talk to them. I, I, I would assist them any way I can. I don't hate them. But Anton does what he does out of anger. But here's the thing. He uses his his the fact that he's been married, right? The dude like 42, 43 years old, I believe. Something like that, right? He's not that old. You know what I'm saying? And um that's that's older, but you know, I'm 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 I'm, I'm a lot older, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I said that wrong. He's an older dude already. He's up in age already, but he's not in my age group. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm way older than him. But anyway, he used the fact that he's been married, right? Um, like 18 years, right? And um, and see, I never want to go here, bro, because I, I truly believe that wives and children and stuff like this, they're off limits. You know, Anton is a combatant. His wife is not. So I'm going to, I'm gonna say something, but I I I I I really want you to understand that I'm not saying this as any type of attack on his wife. That is not my intent. I am trying to make a point. And unfortunately, I don't really know no other way to make this point other than to say it the way I'm about to say it. Say you somebody seen Anton and his wife. No, this is not liquor. This is water. Say somebody seen Anton and his wife walking down the street, right? But it's a man or a woman see him. People ain't going to look at that couple and be like, man, look at that dude. Ooh, no, a girl, the chicks. They're not going to be like, man, look at this dude here. I got to get with him, you know? If she slip, I'm going to try to holler at him. I'm going to try to walk in front of him and catch his attention. He's not going to get that experience. You know what I'm saying? His wife is not going to have no dudes waiting for her to go to the bathroom, sneak off, and try to go holler at her. You know, you know, it, it, they, they, they are not a couple where, where, where the average person is going to find them uh, exceptionally attractive of anything or anything like that. And I get it. Y'all can say, well, nigga, you ain't attractive no more either. I mean, I'm not. I'm ugly now. But motherfuckers, I was a pretty boy. I had my time. And y'all can't take my history from me. You know what I'm saying? I had my time, bro. I mean, I got stories galore. I don't... I Look, I would turn this channel to a triple X channel if I start talking about my sex sexcapades. You know what I'm saying? My dealings with women. You know what I'm saying? This, this, this channel had to go triple X. <laughs> you know? I might put some stories on my Patreon. If y'all want to hear it, let me know. I could talk some ish. Because I got real stories to tell. But my point is... The women that I've always dated were attractive. Women have always found me rather attractive. You know what I'm saying? I told you stories like one time me and my girl, my Creole girl, you know what I'm saying? I don't have a picture of her lined up to put up here. I, I, I probably, I don't know if I would show it anyway. She's pretty though. Pretty, you know, especially back then. She's older now. You know what I'm saying? But I got I got pictures of her when we were dating. Right, well, married. She was one of my wives. I got pictures of her back then, right? And I mean, she, she she's, she's a looker, bro. She's a dime, bro. And one night she and I went to a, went, went to a club. And as soon as I walk in, I got this pretty little red bone walk up to me and just say, hey, Kush, and give me a kiss. You know what I'm saying? Like on the cheek somewhere, you know? I'm like, what's up, boo? How you doing? You know, and I, I kind of talk. And as soon as I slide off from her, I take a few more steps going around. Another chick walks up to me, you know what I'm saying? Hey, what's happening, Kush? And this one gave me a hug and she kissed me on the mouth. My girl standing right there now. But see, all these women know I have a polygynous family, so they don't care. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I know some of y'all say I still disrespect, but I mean, but I guess it, it, you can see it as disrespect, but I mean, but it's how I carry myself. Like, listen, 
I, I move how I move, you know what I'm saying? And, and the women understood that. But anyway, by the time we got around the back, you know what I'm saying? By the time we got around the back, another chick walked over to me and gave me a hug and kissed me on the cheek. This was my life. That was my life. Anton don't have a life like that for real. He has never had those experiences. He could lie to you, but he's never had those experiences. And how I know is because he's angry. How I know is because of the woman he married. My 60 plus year old woman will dump all over any woman he brings up. If she don't beat him, she going to hang with him. And they could be half her age. Because once my girl put clothes on, she looks good. Her face gives her away. If you see her from the back or the side or something, you don't you don't get close to her. You know, she is a white chick, so the, you know, the age shows in their face. You know what I'm saying? If, if you don't get close to her, you don't know how old she is. But I'm, I'm saying that to say this here. You can't brag on a marriage of averages. You get what I'm saying? It's only braggable when you're talking about two attractive people being married two exceptionally attractive people two people that women will find that women will find at least the eight or above and men will find at least the eight or above nobody's going to think his wife is an eight or above nobody's going to think anton is an eight or above so bragging on how long you've been married in that situation is not braggable but it works on y'all but when I tell y'all that I had a polygynous family of, of three attractive women, three eights and above, for eight years, and I'm still with one of them now, going on 26, going, we, we're hitting the 26th year now, so we're going on 27 years. I'm with one of them right now, going on 27 years. And for those eight years, I had a, a group of concubines that were also eights and above. But I tell you that I got pictures of them. I can show it. My thing is, I just don't want to put the women on blast like that, but I can show it. I have pictures. But when I tell y'all that, I, I my word is not good enough, but this dude is bragging about being married to average. Kevin Samuels would insult Anton Daniels and his, and, and his wife. Y'all know Kevin was a harsh critic. He, he'll look at a chick that's a certified eight and call her a three. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know? You know? Y'all other boy the same way. Uh, 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 Jason Black. He would, he would insult this dude and his wife. Jason is another one. He'll look at a dime and call her a two. And all his little cheerleaders, and Jason got a large follower. They all be saying, yeah, yeah, she ain't number two. I mean... Her, and and this, this dude girl is not a two. She, I mean, she's, she's average. And average is not ugly. Average is average. You know what I'm saying? Anton, I wouldn't say he's a, a ugly dude. He's average. Average is not ugly. He's average. You know what I'm saying? But my point in all that is, y'all listen to dudes like him. Y'all support him. He uses his, his, his average marriage as validation that he knows marriage. But he's married to a woman that never really had a lot of options where she was going to go where she's going to go now it's not like he's married to a dime and that's what I'm trying to say this is what I'm trying to say it's not like he's married to a dime I'm sorry it took me so long to get to that point I'm, I'm dancing around it because I, I really the, the dude wife is off limits you know what I'm saying she, she's not a combatant he is the combatant you know what I'm saying and, and, and if, if I if I came across disrespectful, I sincerely apologize to his wife. Sincerely, sister, I did not mean to be disrespectful because I don't think you're ugly. I'm just saying you are not a dime. So it's not like he's married to a dime and he's holding a dime down for 18 years. It's not like he's married to a woman that everywhere she goes, men are lusting after her. Men are oogling her, trying to get to her. Yeah, you got thirsty suckers out there everywhere. But I'm talking about uh, sophisticated men. I mean, I got lawyers be shooting at my wife. Doctors be shooting at my wife. Businessmen be shooting at my old ass wife. Younger dudes 
be shooting at her. I know what I got because I see the responses from other men. Same with my wife. She knows what she got in my old ugly fat ass because she see the responses from women. Women are always hitting on me, bro. Even right now with my old ass, women are always hitting on me. So we know what we got as a couple. It's different. He is not holding down a dime for 18 plus years. He has average. For her, he was probably the best she was going to get. For him, she was probably the best he was going to get. He probably could do a little better now that he got a little more money. But the chick only going to be using him. Because truth be told, dude, look at the dude mentality. Look how he looks at life. What woman in her right mind would be married to a man that look at black people like that? Poor black people. I'm sure his wife came out poor. I mean, would they come from money? They come from wealthy families or something? Because I'm sure they were poor. I'm sure that all their relatives are poor. I mean, who would support a man like that? What woman would want to be in a house with a man that thinks like that? And can you imagine the monsters his daughters are going to be? Excuse me. Can you imagine how messed up they're going to be? How elitist they're going to be because he's worth two, three million dollars. That's not no money these days, bro. Four million dollars. That's not no money these days. This dude ain't worth no real money. He's a low-end millionaire, bro. But he thinks, he thinks he's made it because he got a stream of income based on you fools that support him simply because he says the most despicable, hateful things about black women. And then y'all get mad at me because I won't go there. But I won't go there, man, because I don't feel I need to do that, bro. I ain't got that to be doing, man. I, I, I really don't have an interest in doing that. And I only get on y'all ass, man. I'm talking about the black men. I only get on y'all, man, because y'all are men. See, y'all need to rise about this madness. The black woman, I mean, let us sink or swim with that shit, bro. But y'all need to wake up. Because y'all are the ones that got to lead the future. Y'all are the ones that got to usher in a new reality, a, a, a new world where we not economic base, where fools like him can't sit there and say you don't deserve to mate based on money because money won't even be a factor anymore. See, if money wasn't a factor, he would still have a problem. See, I, that's what y'all understand. If money wasn't a factor, he would still have an issue with black people. The money talk is the excuse. See, that's... That's the talking point that sounds good. And did you see how shocked them white folks were? That poor white man was speechless. He did not know what to say. The white people in the background started laughing. They, they holding their mouth. They, 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 are, they are shocked that this dude would get on TV and say that. And trust me, everybody that listened to that knew exactly who he was talking about. He could say, well, I never mentioned black people. Everybody know that you just advocated. You just try to justify eugenics for black people. Because we don't tr control economics. Resources and all that stuff, we don't. Nobody really have it. Most people are poor. I mean, the delusion of, of people like Anton, bro. Man, I can go on and on, but I, I don't want to go no more, man. It, it's just sad that, that y'all support people like this, bro. That y'all get behind brothers like that. And y'all look at me. Y'all want to grill me and try to give me a test. Y'all don't want to subscribe. Y'all don't want to share my videos. Y'all don't want to like my channel. But you know what? Y'all can't stop it. This is the Black Alpha here, man. This is the realest channel on YouTube, man. Y'all can't stop it. Because I'm going to expose all of y'all people. I said I wasn't going to be that kind of channel. But no, I'm about to be that kind of channel. I think I told y'all that the first of the year, I'm about to take the gloves off. I'm about to just start, start exposing everybody. But black women are not on my hit list. Not really. They're not, bro. Because, I mean, truth be told, our sisters are messed up, man. They need help. But I don't want you to waste your life, your one life, trying to help them. But always be there for them. If they try to get up out that slumber they in, bro, be there for them, man. Help them at a distance, you know what I'm saying? That's your sisters. Don't ever turn your back on them totally, bro. You know what I'm saying? And, and the crazy thing is that I'm married to a foreign woman, man, but I got, I got the sisters back. Sisters act like I don't. They lie on me. They talk crap about me. But I don't have all these black female friends for nothing. Like I said, they're going to come on. I got black women that tell you that. Kush always had my back. They're going to come on. 
I got the sisters back, bro. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't try to date or marry one of them. No, you know what I'm saying? Because the core, the the, the foundation is is cracked. And I, I'm, I'm not gonna be on that thing when the flow fall out. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna be there when it, when it all falls down. I don't, I don't be around when it all falls down. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, but I got their back. But anyway, on that note, bro, I, I, I'm, I'm an in the rant there, man. I've been talking too long, bro. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think I said what I had to say. I, I, I think, I think Allah allowed me to get it, get, get this off my chest. And I, and I hope y'all hear the words. And, I, and again. If, if what I say came out as disrespectful towards Anton's wife, I, I sincerely apologize because that's not my intent. I don't think the sister is ugly or unattractive at all because I think average is attractive. You know what I'm saying? But my point is she's just average. You know what I'm saying? And, and being average, you know, you can't brag if it's two average people in a, a marriage together. And they, you know, I don't care how long y'all last. It's nothing to brag about because you really don't have many ways you can go when you're average. You can't go up. All you can do is go down. That's the problem of being average, right? You can't go up because, you know, it don't work that way. You know what I'm saying? All this old hypergamy type stuff. You can't you can't marry up. Women marry up. No, they don't. No, they don't. They marry where they at. You know what I'm saying? The women date up. Men date down. No, they don't. You know, women marry where they at. Men don't really date down. They date women they can deal with. They, they, they marry women they can deal with. So if a woman that they, the first woman that they can really deal with doesn't look as good as the women they've been dating, that's not them dating down. They actually still dated up because she still ain't going to be ugly. She's still going to be slightly above average. So they still got a nice looking woman, but now they got a woman they can deal with. That's winning, bro. That's not dating down. That's not marrying up for her. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's everything coming together where it is. They made for each other. Y'all idea of marrying up is based on money. Y'all like Anton. Money don't make a man a better man. It makes him a more financially stable man if, if he's managing the money right. You know, that's about it. Money don't make a man a better man. So y'all idea of, of, of marrying up and down is based on money, but it don't work that way. It's not based on money. It's based on universal laws of attraction. The universal laws of selection. That was that's that that's what determines your level. When you look back at the kinds of women you've traditionally dated and attracted in your world, that tells you what level you are on. See, that's why I can talk this ish, bro, because I know what I've been sleeping with. I know what I've been attracting. I know what I've been dating. So my wife, you know what I'm saying, when I when I met her, she, she was, she was, I, I, that's another story. I don't want to get into it right now, but she didn't look, she didn't dress the way she dressed now. Right now she, she dresses urban, but I met her in the masjid. See, that's something I never told nobody. I met her in the black masjid. She was the only white person, the only foreigner, right? In the masjid. We talked business, hooked up over business, got to know each other better and, and it went on from there, right? Okay. But the point is now she dresses, but for a long time, she didn't even realize how she looked until I put her in different clothes and we started going out and she started seeing how dudes were looking at her and then she would go to the store and dudes would hit on her now she realized that okay I, I'm, I'm not really uh, you know she can see y'all y'all don't understand what a real what real attraction is what level you on is based on what you pull like I said, I have I've, I've seen lawyers, doctors, all kinds of professionals try to shoot at my wife. So what level you on is based on that so financial. She she attracts those kind. Young dudes hit on her. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm, I don't want to get into this here, man. My point is, though, the level you on is the level you on. Anti, Anton married where he is. He was never going to go above that woman. She was never going to go above him. So bragging on their marriage kudos for them sticking together but it's, it's it's nothing that's brag worthy because it's not like she's holding down a dime you know and right now i'm pretty sure anton is cheating all over you know what I'm saying that's nothing we ain't gonna talk about he he comes across as this moral authority but now that he's making some paper you best believe he's smashing everything he can you better believe it you know what i'm saying you better believe it and you got some sycophantic women out there 
that 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 flock to these channels and stuff that see him as some kind of star they're going to give him some just because they know who he is so he's smashing and dashing right now you know what i'm saying his wife is sitting at home i don't know what she's doing but the point is anton is never he was never going to go above that woman and she was never going to go above him they married where they are so kudos that they stuck together but that's that his marriage is not uh, 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 his marriage is not no type of accreditation, right? His marriage is not no type of certification, no type of no type of uh, uh, validation that he is worthy to talk the ish that he talk. No, it's not. It's just not. It don't work that way. You know what I'm saying? And again, I, I, I didn't ramble too long on that, man. I might actually put this thing in the, in, in, in the filter, man. Cut all that out. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't want to come across like I'm disrespectful to that dude, that dude's wife, man. Because that's not my intention. But I, I needed to get this off my chest. I needed to say what I needed to say. You know what I'm saying? So I said it. For all those that want to donate to me anonymously, also, because I know y'all ashamed to be supporting me, but it's all good. I ain't mad at y'all. I, I, I know it. I know it's hard getting behind a real one these days. But you know, you're gonna get so much ridicule. You know. But you can donate. I, I won't say your name. Donate Vimo at the Black Alpha, Cash App at the Black Alpha, and PayPal. Let me let me take my big head off of this thing. Uh, and you can donate PayPal at therealblackalpha.com. Like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, everything you see on the screen right there. The Patreon videos are coming. They're going to be exclusive and raw, very raw. I'm going to touch the kind of topics that I can't touch on YouTube, like... The whole trans thing, you know, Transformers thing, the whole LGBT, A, B, C, D, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm going to talk about these kinds of things over there on Patreon because you can't talk to them on YouTube, you know what I'm saying? So once again, to wrap it up, Venmo at the Black Alpha, Cash App at the Black Alpha, and PayPal at RealBlackAlpha at gmail.com, you know what I'm saying? Support the channel, holler at your boy, you know what I'm saying? Till next time, I'm out of here, I'm Brother Kush, a.k.a. The Black Alpha. Salam.